Spellbinder, you would benefit from some historical context. To act against the Grand Prophecy is to invite the Shadow Queen's wrath. The Chrysalis Obelisks detail the Grand Prophecy, though finding them is no mean task. When you encounter them, you will know them for what they are. Find the obelisk orbs, collect them, study them. And perhaps you will find some illumination. Did you come across the chrysalis obelisks? Hmm. And what did you learn? The obelisk orbs do not give up their secrets easily. You will need to give them closer scrutiny. Take the orbs to Ezekiel the Lucent in the city of Sardonyx. He will show you how to read the pattern. Zaltana the Mirror Mask sent you to find the lost orbs of the Chrysalis Obelisks? That is an impossible task. 
Found them? Remarkable! What? Why, yes, you, you should install them at once. Take the orbs into the inner Sardis chamber and restore the chrysalis obelisks. Almost as soon as you enter the room, the orbs hum and crackle with energy and a sense of purpose. They fit smoothly into the chrysalis obelisk and lie ready and waiting to tell you their story. Sky and land once danced as one round the tree of magic's shade. A thousand years, a thousand more, memories of love and fury fade. Raven and spider played across sky and battled throughout the land. Spider fell into the deepest hole, knocked away by Raven's hand. Spider roared and thrashed against the heavens, and finally fell into a sleep. His dreams made twisting shadow things, sowing chaos to one day reap. of the Grand Prophecy? And what did they mean to you? We must always try to serve life and light, while the Shadow Queen always seems to want to destroy them. 